I'm top Castleberry Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country. We're at 32 Carriage Hill Circle, Castleberry, Florida, 32707 here in Carriage Hill, which is why we're on Carriage Hill Circle. If you're even thinking about buying this home or you want one like it, I want you to call me. I've been working here in Castleberry for 34 years, full time every day day in and day out i've sold thousands of homes chances are i can help you too people love the castleberry area get some nice homes and as a general rule of thumb they're about twenty thousand dollars less than you would get if you went just a mile or two around to maitland longwood lake mary winter springs oviedo and then even much less you get into Winter Park. This development was built in 1968, back when Castleberry was a very small town, 436 or Semeron was one lane up, one lane back. Before 1968, the early 60s, it was a dirt path. So you can see we've got some nice mature trees, we've got some good looking houses. There's our house down there. There is an optional HOA. I think it's like $25 a year. So for all intents and purposes, we're going to say there is no HOA. Taxes here with Homestead right now on this home are only $1,277 a year. Give you a feel for the neighbors. And then we'll go look inside. Four bedrooms, three baths, 2,200 square feet. That's a lot of square feet. We've also got an enclosed garage, which is what helped for that. That roof is brand new within the last year or so. They painted the home in 2021. And there's a brand new AC unit as well. We're heading inside. And here's where we say, welcome home. Got a floor plan that's really good for lots of people. Four bedrooms, three baths, lots of different nooks and crannies. This is the center of the home right here, for sure. Got a good view out the kitchen window. Got matching wood laminate floor throughout. So nice new cabinets match the flooring and the granite well. You can see they've got it set up so lots of people have different computer stations, room for lots of animals, room for lots of people. Nice features like that. Crown molding and of course we've got the largest bedroom you've ever seen. So somebody wants their own little space, bedroom man cave combined built-in tv nook this is it all right we've got the second bedroom more of a normal size bedroom decorated really nice And then the first of three baths. It's a nice little place to sit. Gives you a really spacious bathroom for sure.
that is probably large enough to do you and an army how large is it well we got room for a whole extra freezer in here tons of space And we've got the dining room here, which is finished with some nice features. It's not too far from the kitchen. It's hard to imagine, except for big formal dinners that people would use it much. Most people are going to end up there. So now we've got bedroom number two. See the carpet's a little older. Plenty of space, well thought out. That is not a small little setup right there they've got. And now we're going to go into the enclosed garage. So the first part is a really big laundry room with the exit door. See why I want to use the wide angle. It doesn't give you quite the right feel when we use it the regular. We've got a little ante room here. They're using for weights. We've got a bedroom here. Bedroom number four. Some major built-ins. That's all hand done pine stained. Somebody really wanted that there for sure. So this is its own separate part of the house. Someone could come in and out through the sliders here. I guess you could Airbnb it, mother-in-law suite it, or give it to your teenagers if you want to make sure you never really see them. That's plastic there as an addition. So you've definitely got this one bedroom, one bath suite with a separate door right here. And while they've got it weight roomed out, you could definitely put a couch, table and chair, make it a living room, make an entire living suite here far away from the rest of the family. But wait, there's more. One of the nice things about the home is the backyard area for sure you can tell it's set up for a lot of people and they actually spend some time out here look at this setup so we had the extra freezer in the pantry we got an extra refrigerator out here they built a little bar you can see that's pretty nice And we're going to go out to here. Some nice touches. Outdoor area for a grill. Sink. Got a jacuzzi there. Got no yard care. Those are recycled tires. They are ready for a party, especially when it's not too sunny or rainy. It's a little bit of yard in the back. You can't beat how close. No door on that, which is interesting. Do have a little cover for the rain. I wonder how old that is. At least 20 years. As you can see there's so many places for a family to hang out with. You could have four or five people here. 
feel like you're mostly alone. Got this nice big side yard as well. You can see that paint's looking good from the paint job last year. Here in the shed, up the ramp, is another little extra room. It's pretty hot in here. Definitely would need to keep the windows open and a fan. But it makes for great storage, which is what they're using it for.